Hey everyone, welcome back to LC Drone Solutions. My name is Lemir Carter, and in case you missed it, during a TNT broadcast event celebrating the Boston Celtics, a drone, believe it or not, went rogue and crashed into the crowd. This caused quite a stir. So imagine you're being at a NBA party or NBA game. You're having a great time, you're vibing out, and suddenly, boom, a drone falls right into the middle of the crowd. So this was an unexpected twist in the evening, of course. Uh, now, there's an article that comes by way of the dailymail.co.uk titled Fan Rushed to Hospital After CNN Employee Crashes Drone. A CNN employee crashed a drone, by the way, uh, into a crowd of thousands at a Boston NBA party. So this was published by Jack Bazantz. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, according to this article from the Daily Mail, this wasn't just any gathering. It was an event with thousands of fans in attendance hyped for the support of their team. And while drones have been increasingly used for entertainment at sporting events, the situation highlights the risk of using them in crowded spaces. So let's go ahead and dive into this article. It says, a drone used by TNT for pregame coverage of Boston Celtics NBA opener crashed during an opening watch party on Tuesday night, injuring two people with another, an elderly woman, going to hospital. Police said the drone was flying between two trees when the operator accidentally struck a light pole at around 7.30 p.m. And according to local reports, causing it to land in the crowd where thousands had gathered to celebrate the return of the NBA. The FAA, or the Federal Aviation Administration, have since confirmed they are investigating the incident. The drone was operated by CNN, who are owned by the same Warner Bros. Discovery Network as TNT. The is now investigating a drone crash at Boston City Hall Plaza last night during the Celtics party. As WBZ's Christina Rex shows us, this is what happened. And new at 6, she looks at the rules surrounding drones in crowds like that. As the crew breaks down from a huge Celtics watch party on City Hall Plaza last night, two people are recovering from injuries from a drone crash. If I'm standing up, I only had my hand like this. If I had it like this, I would have had my hands cut off because of the blades. Derek Screma was grazed by a falling drone during Tuesday night's festivities. It was like a mini panic attack. I was like, this is crazy. Are you doing okay? Yeah, it's just my fingers. So first off, I want to say it's very unfortunate that this was supposed to be a celebration of the Boston Celtics NBA opener, and it was turned into an incident where two people were injured. So I'm sorry to hear that. And the fact that an elderly woman had to go to the hospital just shows how serious these accidents can be. Now, while drones are incredibly useful and fun, they can be tricky to operate in crowded areas. I myself have tried my hand at that. And it's not as easy as it looks, and God forbid anything goes wrong. In this case, it seems the drone operator accidentally hit a light pole while flying between trees. And it goes to show how even small mistakes can lead to accidents, especially when operating in busy environments. It says, TNT's opening night live show was being broadcast at City Hall Plaza in Boston, with Ernie Johnson joined by Shaq, Kenny Smith, and Charles Barkley. Joseph Kobesi, who was hit by the drone, told Boston 25 News, I hear a loud sound, sounds like a banging sound. Suddenly, I feel something hit my head right here. And then we scroll down and then he says, I was initially, I was initially very scared because there was a loud sound and then felt something sharp hit my head. And then I hear the woman next to me scream and it seems like she was going to fall. Another injured person, Derek Screma, has two cut fingers from the incident and told the news channel I was completely cut off guard. It was scary because my mind was like, I could have just got two of my fingers cut off. Scrimo was also reported by CBS Boston as describing the woman who needed hospital treatment as elderly. 
TNT have acknowledged the incident, saying in a statement reported by Boston.com, unfortunately, there was an incident involving a drone and fans attending tonight's event. Then it says on-site medical and safety personnel immediately attended to the situation where are currently investigating further and wish all involved well. I'm going to say that the, the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, is now investigating, which is a big deal because they play a huge role in regulating drone operations. And when incidents like this happen, their investigations help to improve safety standards moving forward. So I'm glad to see that the FAA has stepped in. And it's good to see that authorities are taking this seriously. Um, another thing I noted, interestingly, so this drone was operated by CNN, which is part of the same network as TNN, or excuse me, as TNT, as stated in this article. Now, this raises some questions about corporate responsibility. Large media companies like this, who frequently use drones for coverage, need to ensure they're taking all the necessary precautions to protect people in situations like this. And this story ties into broader conversations we've been having about drone safety, especially in public spaces. And with drones becoming more and more integrated into entertainment and commercial industries, ensuring they're operated safely should be a top priority. And I'm sure most of you, if not all of you guys out there would agree. So what do you think about drones being used at big events like this? Was this just a freak accident? Or does it point to a bigger issue with drone safety at public gatherings? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, be sure to smack the like button and subscribe to LC Drone Solutions. And I will see you all later. Take care.